Hey, what's up YouTube fam? Brandon Weaver here yet again, once again. Now you're a little bit further away from me because I got my desk, my big desk in the way, okay? So, okay, so I'm in the office, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the Awesome Life Group. We're killing it, we're crushing it, we're getting these disputes out, we're getting these negative items off. If you want us to do it for you, you can go to the Awesome Life Group. Dot com. I had to come out here, had to hire some people, just had to cash some checks and snap some necks. <clears throat> snap some necks. Um, the way I say that, I, do, I don't even know. Snap some necks. You know what I'm doing. Anyway, having a good time. Want to get to your questions and answers, so let's just get to it. Christopher Angelus says, Bank of America and Chase account. These accounts are noted as closed, but under terms it still says revolving. That's fine. It was a revolving debt. It was a credit card. Credit lines are revolving, unlike an installment loan, which is an installment. Payment status indicates charge off, bad debt, and place for collections. Credit line, credit line closed, grantor requested, reported by subscribers. So basically all that means is you didn't pay or someone didn't pay. Allegedly you. Someone didn't pay. It was charged off and now it was closed by the end, their end, Bank of America or Chase. And it's been reported by them, okay? Can I still dispute this is the question. Yes, hell yes, you can still dispute this. You can definitely dispute this. This is precisely textbook dispute style stuff here. Collections, charge offs, charge offs. They've already written it off. They've either claimed a loss on their taxes, got an insurance claim and a big bulk insurance write off, or they sold it to a collector in a portfolio package of little things, okay? So they definitely don't hold that note anymore, they've let it go, dispute this. Now, now, this is, here's the rub to this, okay? Because I was reading this and here's a big issue about this because these accounts are opened for 13 years ago, 13 years ago. So this is some old credit history, man, and credit history is good. It's about 15% of your FICO scores. Now. If you dispute this, he says, if I dispute this and have this deleted, will this lower my chances of getting, being approved for credit in the future if I no longer have a history of established credit? Now, you probably have other positive items on there. So if you have other positive items on there, which we're about to get to here, you're good to go. 13 years is long, but that charge off is really bad, man. Really, really bad. So in my opinion, you're better off getting that nasty stuff off and moving forward with your life. If you've got other long credit history stuff on there, go with that. If for some reason you need something that has a long credit history, we can hook you up here. Trade lines, authorized user trade lines. It's not the same as a primary, but you know, you can get some credit history. Now, I currently have a new mortgage in good standing. Could this help be used to verify my credit is established? Yes, of course. And I'm assuming you have more on there than just a Bank of America card and Chase card from 13 years ago. I'm sure you've gotten some other things down the line. Cell phone bill, a loan for a car. You just got a mortgage, so that's good. You're going to be able to pay that on time for the next couple of years. Establish credit that way. You know, when I disputed... Here's... Yeah, there's a great story here. When I disputed my stuff, I took off some old credit history stuff. Um, I didn't have, I was young, I didn't have a lot of credit history at the time, and it wasn't as impactful as having the negative stuff removed. Having that negative stuff on there was way worse. So I had the negative stuff removed, credit score went up. And then I was able to apply for new credit, and now I'm establishing good credit moving forward, which is a wonderful situation. It sounds like you're doing the same with your mortgage, so I wouldn't sweat that too much. Move forward with your life. Get out of this. I mean, you know, 13 years ago, who knows? Uh, I know it's a nice, long, established credit history, and it's going to take time to rebuild that. But you will, and right now you can't even really rebuild because you got bad credit. So let's move on from that. And lesson learned. Perhaps, you know, next time, seven, eight years, you know that's established line of credit. Maybe it's not working out for you. Try and move it to somewhere else. That's a, you know, you transfer it to somewhere that's y newer, younger, or something like that. Anyway, my current driver's license did not have my current address listed, but I do have the certified DMV card. It will take some time before I'm able to go in and get my card updated. Can I start the process in the meantime? Yes, you can start the process in the meantime, but you need to be aware that what we have found here at the Awesome Life Group, LLC, more an LLC, my man, and what we found out at the Awesome Life Group here is that the DMV certified card sometimes will get kicked back, right? So 
you have your old address on there and you have this new address with the DMV certified card um, and you've got a utility bill and the new name, they will still see the old address with your old ID and then they start getting excited. They say, yeah, they start salivating, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna verify that address. So your best bet is to update that. I know it's gonna take you some time to get in there, but get in there, man. If credit is your backbone, if credit is what's gonna get you that house, or you already got the mortgage or the car, or whatever it is that you wanna do, you know, maybe it's establishing business. I keep getting off the phone with people who need business funding, which we can do. We can do it without a personal guarantee or with a personal guarantee. If you get that business funding with a personal guarantee, it's a little bit quicker and easier, and we'll do another video on that, okay? However, However, you really want to get in there and update your card, your driver's license, get that to the new address. You know, it's an investment in you and your future. Now, if you want to start the process in the meantime, you can. You may or may not be able to get old addresses off because they're going to see the, the old address on there and your results might not be as solid. However, I have sent before, before I was super professional, before I was super professional, uh, I have sent in disputes for, uh, for myself, friends, family, stuff like that for uh, an old an old ID from an old state, uh, two or three addresses ago, and still got deletions, still got results. So go for it, man. Get them results, son. Get them results. Go for it. All right, I'm in the office. It's Sunday, okay? Relax. It's Sunday. I can yell. I can take off my jacket, all right? I can hang out here with my, my desk, all right? It's all good. Now, there are many addresses of misc info listed under my personal profile. You want to clean that up, exactly. It says you'd like to clean that up. How can I do this at the same time mailing out the letters? Well, the personal profile update letter needs to go in a separate, needs to go in a separate envelope, and you can send that out. Typically here, we like to send those out, give a a little leeway about a week or two before you send out your disputes. This can help. That way your stuff is updated and then you can dispute and listen knock that negative stuff off. You get the letter, it'll say, uh, my current address is blank. Please take off other variations. All the rest are inaccurate or unverified. Same thing with your name. My one good spelling of my name is blank and, you know, or John, you know, say John Smith, Jane Smith, and you have Jane W. Smith, Jane S. Smith, Jane whatever. You have Juanita on there, okay? It's not my, that's not my name, man, okay? I'm, I'm not Juanita, so. You can have that, you can have employers updated and changed, uh, places of, of birth if it's wrong, or birth dates, um, what else could it be? Numbers, if you have a phone number on there. I'm trying to think, is my cell phone number on there? I don't think so, okay. So, in any case, you can have that done. That really helps out a lot, all right? Uh, that's, a big, that's a big thing. Now, I want you guys to know, all right, let me, let me get in here, let me get in here. Get is my missing my laptop. I want you guys to know that we here in Pennsylvania are licensed. Okay, that's our license right here. Now you can't see it all that well. Licensed and bonded. All right, we've been licensed and bonded for a couple of years now, and uh, you probably haven't seen me up in the office too often. Last time I came out here, we were so busy, I didn't get a lot of chance to just chill and do some videos. All right, and we've been working on a lot of different things. Staff, we have new staff. You can see the staff, you can talk to the staff. They're le legitimate, real people here in Pittsburgh. None of this is outsourced, none of this is uh, people that we don't know every day. Butts in chairs, people working on the phones here, talking to you directly, all right? Ain't nobody telecommuting, ain't nobody shooking and jiving, all right? We're here for you. On top of that, Cornita, as you know, you've met her. She's my business partner out here in Pennsylvania. She manages and watches all these individuals, you know, make sure that they're doing the right thing. So you can trust us, you can believe in us, and uh, we've got our free, free consultations. We've got the ability for you to sign up on our website and get your credit straight. Now, that is a bit of an investment as we're doing the labor and the postage and all that stuff. So if you need stuff done on your own, you've got email support here, all right? Email support here if you wanna get the do-it-yourself package at 609creditrepair.com. Your email in, I'm emailing uh, people back, I'm doing videos back, doing questions and answers. So if this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that little bell for notifications so you know when next time when one of my videos comes out and until I see you in person, I'll see you on the other side. Take care, guys.